Good morning, evening, or afternoon, everybody. It's Kagho coming at you with another video. So today, I'm going to run you through how to do the combat, logistic, and tactical quests for the Scenarian Circle. So in order to start these, first off, you're going to want to come right here and talk to Windcaller uh, Calden. And you're going to click Field Duty, Accept This Quest, and this will let you choose along the line of what you want to do. So the combat ones are pretty much just go to a hive, kill a bunch of bugs. Self-explanatory, pretty easy. The tactical ones are go to a hive, find a scout, talk to them, and I will be making a video later showing you all of the locations, of course. Um, but... Today, we're going to sort of cover the logistic quests as well as why you should do them. So, depending on what you are, um, caster or a um, melee DPS, you're going to either want the stalwart um, battle gear for your um, rock fury bracers as a caster. It's just an upgrade over bracers of arcane accuracy. You know, you'll get 27 spell power and 1% hit opposed to 21 spell power and 1% hit. So it's just a minor upgrade for me. Still worth doing it. And especially if you don't have a f either of those, you really, really want to do them. Um, and then the other one for melee is champions and they definitely go for that earth strike trinket. It's absolutely insane and really, really good for them. Um, they will need 20 logistic, 20 tactical and 15 combat. So they just need three more tactical badges opposed to the um, one just a tier below it. Now, the other rewards aren't really that good. If you have an ult, you might want to consider coming here and doing these, but that's up to you. But anyway, once you get that field duty quest, what you're going to then do is run down here to the um, camp. I believe if you are Alliance, you get it at the same place, but you just have to run to Hive Zora um, and turn it in there instead of Hive Regal where the Horde one is. So it's a pretty much a straight shot. You run here. Once you're here, um, you have to do an event to kill a really, really uh, tough elite. Um, it's not like too terribly difficult because you get a lot of NPCs to help you. You just will not be able to do it without a healer or you're going to need five pump and DPS in order to do that. However, what I've found is a lot of people are here doing these quests. So this guy's almost always dead or being fought. And once that occurs, then you're just able to just run right here, talk to the dude, say sign my papers. So as you can see, people are doing it right now. Um, and ideally, you have to kill this guy, and then you can talk to him and get your papers signed. I'm not sure if enough people are going to be here to do this right now. I don't really see anyone, but you kill this guy before he dies, and then Krug will sign your papers. So that's pretty much what you have to do with that. Um, I'll let you know uh, later, um, after we get it done, what we're going to do. I'll see you then. Whoop. Alrighty, guys. So we were able to have him be defeated right there. So now we can talk to Krug right here. Get our field duty papers, turn those in, get them signed, and oh, I have to fill those out. Make sure you right click and fill them out, but then he will prepare your stuff. He signs them, and he is here for a good amount of time um, before the quest has to be repeated. Now, once you come up here to the Scenarian uh, hold to turn in that quest after you have it done, then you're able to then um, accept whatever uh, mission you want to. So that can be a combat one, that can be a logistical one, that can be a tactical one. You're going to need to get these amount of badges. Each quest gives you one badge. So you're going to have to do 15, kill a bunch of bugs, um, 17, go find this thing, um, and 20, um, turn in items. So I wanted to sort of cover the logistical one um, because there is something really, really overpowered that you can do with this. And that is being able to turn in, um, being able to turn in these logisticals as you go. So um, you can repeat it. So once I come here and turn this in, I'm going to accept a logistics quest. Now, if I don't have the proper materials, um, I prepared for three of them. Um, so if I don't get that, then I'm going to try again. And so you just turn that in. And then we have logistical assignment. So now we can open that logistical task briefing um, IV. So he wants six powerful mojo, six um, uh, flasks of big mojo, and eight emulation oils. So I do not have that. So what I'm going to do is destroy that briefing, abandon this quest, 
and then I'm going to talk to him and do field duty again. So now I have these papers. Um, as we saw, there was that rogue there all along the way. Um, there is a diminishing returns on this. I think it's uh, three minute cooldown, so you can only reaccept it every three minutes. It's not that big of a deal, but you can run back and forth. However, doing this method will yield you 25 Scenarian reputation. Um, what I found to be the fastest method is to get uh, Enchanted Thorium, Enchanted uh, Leather, um, because those are really, really good and can definitely make you a decent amount of money. Um, if, like, they won't make you a decent amount of money. They will save you a lot of money. Um, there are other ones such as Band-Aids, 30 of each of those. That can definitely be pretty nice for you as well. But it just sort of depends on your server and what you find is easiest to get. I, may, I even made some ornate mithril boots and um, massive iron axes just to sort of test those as well as have some uh, diversity here. Um, but as you can see, these are selling um, for 20 gold each on my server right now. It's kind of insane. You know, people say, oh, just three of those. That's pretty easy. Um but, you know, it is what it is. There's a full list on Wowhead. You can definitely check that out for what you uh, sort of want and need in order to do this. But as you can see, you just run back and forth. And sometimes the guy's here to fight. Other times he's not. Um, and so if you're fast enough, you can actually get back to him in time and not have to redo it. But as you see, there's just a lot of people here killing it. So you have the people. It's pretty simple. It's just a rinse and repeat. But that's sort of it on the grounds of what you're going to be doing with this logistics quest. And it actually yields 25 reputation per. So if you really just want the most... Um, if you want the easiest way to do this and get rep with Scenarian Circle, um, you can just constantly run back and forth between your guy, turn it in, get these quests. And it's actually kind of insane. The only mechanic you really got to watch out for is this guy's charge ability. Uh, if you pull enough aggro, he will charge you, and, you know, it can be pretty lethal. Especially if you have some, uh, if you're on a PvP server and have some hostile uh, P uh, factions trying to kill you, it can be really, really bad. But, anyway, that's sort of it for this. It's just rinse and repeat, get those quests, and with those quests, you can just constantly uh, do it. So we're going to use those papers. I'd strongly recommend doing the papers as soon as you uh, get them instead of doing it here because I potentially could have to wait here. But as you see, everyone mounts up and they're just going to be running in a straight line. A lot of people, whether you're a mage or warrior or rogue, you are going to be wanting this quest and trying to get this done. So that's where you see a lot of people doing this. Um, and just trying to, you know, grind out. I'm hoping that we will get a logistic quest that I have, so you can sort of see how that turns in. Um, but completing the logistical quests, they do give you 50. Now, something to keep in mind is you need a mark of Remulos, or if you have the exalted or the exalted one, you will need a mark of Scenarius. And these are special quests that you get. Um, and you get these, I believe, in a succession to one. Um, so you have to complete a previous one in order to get the next one. Um, they, they're kind of like that in the sense of chaining. But, you know, if you're not getting the one you want, then you don't want to uh, keep doing that. But this is, this is like the very first uh, iteration of daily quests. So we got Briefing uh, X. So that is number 10. And it, this is the Band-Aid one. So I don't actually have any band-aids on me, which is unfortunate. So I'm unable to sort of do this quest right here at this moment. Um, I'm not sure why this guy is bugged. It's not letting me talk to him. But this is the uh, bandage one. I'm going to abandon that. And then you really just rinse and repeat. You have to abandon it, delete the item, and then you can keep getting the field duty quest. So that's pretty much it, guys. Um, the mark of Romulus requires you to have three frayed uh, abominations skins and one skin of shadows. So if you don't have those, you're going to have to go to Undead Strath as well as um, uh, Skolomance in order to get those. And then it takes a robe of the cultist. And then you'll get your mark. It's, you know, it's kind of just RNG and luck. You get it from the logistic quest line. So every time you complete a quest, you usually get another quest. 
we just haven't gotten one of the quests that I'm actually able to complete at this moment. So we're just going to keep going and see what we get. But anyway, guys, that's sort of the rundown for the logistics quest lines, um, what you can get from these. I will have more on the um, tactical ones and the combat ones. It's literally just go and kill a bunch of bugs. Um, they are elites, um, but it's kind of self-explanatory. I don't really see the need to uh, sort of make a guide on how to kill some bugs. Um, but anyway, guys, I really hope this helped. Um, if you have any questions about this, um, please, please, please let me know. One final thing I just remembered is that you do have to um, have the gates opened and, and after the 10-hour event for these quest lines to appear. Um, but other than that, that's pretty much it, guys. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye bye if you made it to the end of this video, thank you so, so much for watching. It truly means a lot to me. If you happen to find anyone that you know would also benefit from watching this video, please, please, please share it with them. It helps me out a ton and allows me to keep doing what I love every single day. And that is gaming and sort of helping people any way that I can. So finally, thank you so much. And I hope you have a fantastic day. Goodbye.